Mike Cortez here at Texas Beer Guide. I'm with Dan Worsema with Oscar Blues Brewing Company. These guys are finally here in Austin, and I'm so excited, Dan. Thanks for taking the time out to speak with us. No problem. I'm excited to be here. So tell me, what made you guys decide Austin, Texas? I mean, Austin fits so many of the qualities of Oscar Blues in Colorado. You know, um, it's a great outdoor city. It's a great beer city. It's a great music city. Um, Colorado and Oscar Blues has been about getting outdoors can craft beer, um, getting involved in the music scene, um, biking, you know, hiking, all those sorts of things. And you know, it's much hotter here in Texas. Um, we, we know those sorts of things exist. And so you guys um, noticed. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, and as someone who's been um, here in Austin for, for eight years now, you know, like this is, this is the, who I am. And, you know, Oscar Blues, the way of life that, that we have in Colorado is, is very similar to Austin and just felt like a natural fit. Um, the Texas craft beer scene is just exploding. The demand for um, Colorado Oscar Blues beer has just been phenomenal, and we felt it was the right time to come here and, and put our mark um, and work in the Texas craft beer scene. Definitely, and, and this is a really tight knit community, and I think you Absolutely. guys really fit in. Um, you know, has it been welcoming here with the neighbors? I know you're around uh, five other breweries in the area. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's great. Like, you know, part of what we were looking at here is, is we wanted to be in, a, you know, we've been affectionately calling it the Nay Beer Hood. And, you know, if you look at it, you know, this is, you know, the east side of Austin has a number of breweries that are um, close in, in their area, but this is a North Austin brewing district and it's accessible to a lot of people. It's a destination. You know, we want people to come here and drink our beers. But we also want people to go to Circle and North By and Austin Beer Works and Edelberts, you know, and, and, and Fourth Tap across the street. And we want them to feel that they're coming up here for those breweries to come to ours and, and vice versa. Um, we actually have a graphic that um, we posted and, and we have on the bar and stuff like that that's just like, you know, hey, you're here now, but there are other destinations here. And, and you know, we wanted to be as welcoming and, and encouraging because as craft beer often goes, it, it is a very collaborative environment and, and we're looking forward to working and, and hanging out with a lot of them. So uh, the right now you guys are currently open in, uh, from four to eight. Yep. And then uh, I guess your opening date is September? 17th. So yeah, we're, we're planning on having just a huge hoo-ha um, on September 17th, like yeah, right. <laughs> um, you know, live music, um, just really breaking in uh, the the space and stuff like that, getting some big acts, some local, some, some regional, some national, we're kind of just in the planning stages for it right now, but we, um, you know, we're excited for this to be a destination for live music because this city uh, lives on that. And the stage and, is great. I'm yeah, really it's, great. it's, you know, we spared no expense on the sound system, so, I mean, there's no reason that we shouldn't be bringing in bands that are going to, you know, make it sound great. Um, we're open from four to eight now. Um, we've got can approval, so we're serving four of our can craft cores, and eventually we'll have draft approval, and then we'll move from 12 to 10 every single uh, day. So let's talk about the four beers that you guys are doing right now. Sure. So we've got Dale's, mm -hmm. we've got the uh, Mother's, yep. Mama's Little, Little Yellow, Yellow Tills, um, the IPA, and yep. then the Pinner. Pinner, yep, our session IPA. So uh, what are the other beers we're expecting to see here? Um, we're, we have Burrito, that's working on our new Mexican lager, it's a malt forward amber lager that clocks in at 4%, so easy drinking but super flavorful. Is, is, you know, we have an incredible system here, and mm -hmm. one that's growing, and we've got, uh, we just got a 30 barrel um, fermenter in last week, and so that's going to mean small batch specialties, you know, you could see stuff like Deviant or a batch of Old Chub here and there, or, you know, we want to unleash our brewers here <laughs> to, to kind of do their own thing. We have an incredible set of brewers. Um, that are working hard every day to put out our regular lineup of, you know, the beers that everybody loves. I mean, Dale's is just uh, the growth in the Texas market of our cores are awesome. But we want people to come in and not only be able to have a chance to, to try the beers that they love, but also experiment with a couple of things from our brewers' brains. Definitely. <clears throat> so with, right now, uh, with being Austin, you know, we kind of do things our own ways. Mm -hmm. Are the brewers going to, is there any plans right now of beers that are just going to be for the Austin market? Yeah. So, I mean, it will be in the tap room. Um, at least to start out with. I mean, this is a laboratory as much as it is anything like all tap rooms are. And you look at a lot of the um, Austin craft breweries that have experimented with, uh, you know, like a greenhouse series or like Hops and Grain has, mm -hmm. and, you know, met with some wild success with some of theirs. And before you know it, they're in cans. Um, if it's something that, you know, is, is well received, I think, you know, the tap room is in a destination for a while. But, um, you know, eventually, you know, we want to bring a barrel age program into the, you know, like we do in Colorado and Brevard and, and start doing some very unique stuff that I think the Texas market's going to love. And you've got plenty of space up there. It's a very <laughs> big, do. it's a very big space. Yeah, this uh, battle station is not fully operational, but it, uh, it will 
it has the uh, upward range, the total capacity is 110,000 barrels. Wow. So um, we're doing about 10% of that capacity nice. uh, this year. So it's 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 going to be impressive, and, and we're looking forward to contributing to the scene. So Leslie, uh, I wanted to ask a little bit about Candy. Sure, you absolutely. guys are really big about giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And so can you give me a little bit of info about Candy? Yeah, absolutely. So first off, uh, www.candy.org. <laughs> Check that out. Um, and so it's the charitable arm of, of Oscar Blues, but it's a freestanding nonprofit. It's got, um, you know, it, it talks about getting tunes. You know, we've got the tunes program. We've got the treads and trails. We've got the love your mom of the earth side of it. Um, Oscar Blues and, and the Candidate Foundation is committed to making an impact in the local community. And we have a specific person assigned to Austin that's going to work with a bunch of other Austin nonprofits, like the Austin Trail Foundation, um, to, to make an impact in the community. So we're not only contributing to the craft community, but we're contributing to the charitable community. So um, it's really exciting sure. because, I mean, this another one of the things that vibe really well with the Colorado to Austin connection is, is that there's a huge charitable element Definitely. here. And um, again, we didn't want to come in here and you know be uh, strangers to the community that way. We want to make sure we were giving back, not only in a way that contributes to the brewing culture, but then also the charitable culture. Nice. Well, Dan, thank you so much for taking your time. To hey, thanks for coming by. Welcome to Austin. Thank you. Uh, lastly, really quick, uh, where can people find info about you guys? Yeah, so we've got our own social media channels. Obviously, uh, I direct you to the main Oscar Blues page, oscarblues.com, but uh, you can follow us and any special beers that may come down the line at Oscar Blues ATX on uh, Twitter and Instagram, and then Facebook is Oscar Blues Austin. Awesome, Dan. Thank hey, you so much. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Austin. Thank you.